Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this video, we will be discussing about the second part of the generation and control of X-ray. Under that, we will be discussing the topic rectifiers and rectification. Now, what is rectification? Rectification is a process of converting alternating current into direct current. And the device used for this rectification process is known as a rectifier. Now the rectifier allows flow of current only in one direction. Now why we are doing this rectification? The x-ray tube or the electric current that we supply to the x-ray tube must be always direct current. And that is why we are converting alternating current to direct current. And for that purpose we are using devices such as rectifiers. Now why we cannot supply alternating current directly to the x-ray tube? If we do so, what happens is that the anode will emit electrons. Normally what happens, the cathode emit electrons and uh, the electrons move to the anode which is the target. They bombard against the target and produce x-rays. But if you are supplying alternating current to the x-ray tube, what happens? The anode will emit electrons. Now, if the anode emit electrons, what happens? The electrons will travel towards the cathode and bombard the filament and thereby causes um, or thereby destroys the cathode filament. Now, this phenomenon is known as back projection. So, in order to avoid the uh, back projection, we are using or we are supplying direct current to the x-ray tube. That means we can only supply direct current to the x-ray tube and for that purpose we are using rectifiers in order to convert the alternating current to direct current. Now rectification process can be of two types. The first one is half wave rectification. In half wave rectification we convert only positive half cycle of the alternating current into direct current. Whereas in full wave rectification what happens we convert both positive and negative half cycles of the alternating current into direct current. Now let's see what is a half wave rectifier. So uh, in the rectifiers we use certain types of diodes. So generally we use vacuum tube diodes or solid state diodes. Now in half wave rectifier we use only a single diode whereas in full wave rectifiers we can use two or more diodes. Now in half wave rectifier uh, we supply an AC voltage to the diode as an input and uh, the diode will allow current only during the half cycles. Now because only half of the alternating current is converted into direct current, this process is known as half wave rectification. And the half wave rectifiers are mainly used in mobile and dental x-ray units. Now here you can see the circuit diagram of a half wave rectifier. So this is the um, diagram of the rectifier when it is in forward biased condition. Now here you can see the alternating current input waveform. It has a positive half cycle and a negative half cycle. Now what happens here? The positive half cycle is converted um, into direct current and thus we get the resultant output. Now here during each positive half cycles of the alternating current, the diode is forward biased. That means the anode is positive with respect to the cathode and thereby it results in current flowing through the diode. That is the first case. Now when the diode is forward biased, there is flow of current and thereby we get the output waveform. That means the positive half cycle of the alternating current is converted into direct current. So here you can see in the picture the diode is forward biased. Forward biased means the anode is positive with respect to the cathode and this causes the flow of electric current and as a result of the flow of electric current we get the resultant output waveform. Now during the negative half cycle, what happens? During the negative half cycles, the diode is reverse biased. That means the anode is negative with respect to the cathode. Okay. 
So that is the case of reverse biased. That means in the negative half cycle of the alternating current, the diode is reverse biased. Reverse biased means the anode is negative with respect to the cathode. And therefore, there is no flow of current through the diode. And so the negative half cycle of the alternating current cannot be converted into direct current. So here in the resultant output waveform, you can see that the positive half cycle is shown as solid line, solid graph, whereas the negative half cycle is shown as dotted graph. That means we are unable to convert the negative half cycle of the alternating current waveform into direct current. Now, if you see the resultant output waveform, you can see that only the positive waveforms are converted into direct current, whereas um, the negative um, half cycle is not converted into direct current and that is why there is a space or a gap in between the negative, uh, in between the positive half cycles. Now this is how a half wave rectification takes place. So in a half wave rectifier we use only a single diode and because of that only positive half cycle of the alternating current is converted into direct current. Now let's move on to full wave rectifiers. In full wave rectifiers we can use either two diodes or more. Okay, either we can use two diodes, we can also use four diodes. Now in this picture, you can see that we have used two diodes, D1 and D2. Using D1 and D2, we have converted the alternating current into direct current. Now uh, here, the two power diodes, it is connected to a resistance RL. Now each diode takes its place um, during the half cycles. Now in the first half cycle that means in the positive half cycle what happens here point A is positive with respect to C. Now when point A is positive the diode D1 conducts current. Now when the D1 conducts current we get the resultant waveform. Okay, that is what happens during the positive half cycle. So during positive half cycle, the point A will be positive with respect to C and therefore D1 conducts electric current and thereby we get the resultant waveform. Now in the negative half cycle, in the negative half cycle, we can see here the point B, B point is positive with respect to C. Now here the diode D2 will conduct electric current. During the positive half cycle, point A was positive. So D1 conducted electric current. We got the resultant waveform. During the negative half cycle, point B is positive. Now the diode D2 will conduct the current. And then we also get the resultant waveform. So here you can see both the positive and the negative half cycles of the alternating current is converted into direct current. So thus we get an uninterrupted resultant waveform. So this is what is full wave rectification. We can also um, achieve full wave rectification using diode bridge rectifiers. So in diode bridge rectifier, we use four different diodes that is D1, D2, D3 and D4. They are arranged in series pairs and during each cycle, two diodes will conduct current. Now this is the positive half cycle. In positive half cycle, the point A is positive. Now, since point A is positive, the diodes D1 and D4 will conduct electric current and we get the resultant output waveform. You can see in green graph, you can see that uh, we have got the resultant output waveform. So here you can see the diodes colored in blue that is D1 and D4 they conduct electricity whereas the diode D2 and D3 shown in dotted lines they do not have role in the positive half cycle. Now in the negative half cycle the point B is positive point A is negative. Now here the diodes D3, D2 and D3 will conduct the electric current and we will get the resultant output waveform. So here also we get the uninterrupted resultant output waveform and thereby this is also a full wave rectification process. So hope you understood what is half wave rectification and what is full wave rectification. In half wave rectification, we convert only 
positive half cycles into alternating current whereas in full wave rectification we convert positive as well as negative half cycles into alternating current in half wave rectifier we use only a single diode whereas in full wave rectifier we use two or more diodes thank you so much for watching if you find this video useful please like share and subscribe